Hey there, crypto fans, and welcome to Altcoin Radar. This is a place where beginners like, you know, myself and others can learn all about different cryptocurrency projects that we never knew existed before. Um, you know, I have no idea what a lot of these projects are about, so that's why I started this channel to pretty much, you know, I can film myself researching different projects so that I can learn about them. So I figured why not film myself and, you know, let other people learn, as, learn with me. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. Uh, the project we're going to be looking at today is called SC Prime. Uh, I have never heard about it before adding it to my list of videos to do, so we're going to see what SC Prime is all about today. Uh, so if you guys are new to my channel, uh, what I usually do is I go to CoinMarketCap, which is where we are right now, and I'll read about what they have to say about the project here, and then we'll head over to their official website and see if we can learn a little bit more about their project from their official website. So, All right, guys, as you can see, uh, SC Prime is currently ranked number 1,016 on Coin Market Cap, so it's not exactly the it's not exactly the most popular coin. But you know, hey, I mean that doesn't mean it's not a good coin or anything like that. I mean, we've all seen it before. I mean, there's been projects that were ranked, you know, high above, well above, you know, 500 plus, and then like a month later they're ranked in the top 50. So you really just never know with the cryptocurrency market. Uh, things can turn around so quickly; it's not even funny. But um, that's only for some projects. That's not for all projects. Um, and also for those of you who are new to my channel, I don't really focus on price of the coins. I focus on the projects. I really want to learn about the project. I don't really care about the price right now. But I mean, I'll touch base on it a little bit. So as you can see, it's currently trading for 23, or 23 cents. And it's down about 8% right now. So, oh well. Um, and as you can see, back in July of 2020, it was kind of like, it was le this project was less than a penny. Um, uh, pretty much all of 2020, it was pretty much less than a penny. So as you can see, it's gone, been doing, making some pretty big moves lately. So uh, we're going to figure out what this project is all about and see, hopefully we can figure out why it's been, you know, trending upwards lately. So all right, so according to CoinMarketCap, CoinMarketCap really doesn't have much to say about it, but uh, SC Prime claims to have developed a fully SC3 com S3 compatible distributed cloud storage for small and medium enterprise. Okay, that's kind of cool. So it's uh, it sounds to me like it's a project that's, you know, I mean, it's a cloud storage service for, you know, businesses. Uh, customers reportedly pay in fiat and smart contracts lock in secure storage capacity in the decentralized cloud at a lower cost than traditional providers with increased native security. Storage providers are paid with a low friction ASIC powered proof of utility coin. All right, so that's pretty cool. Um, if it's trending upwards, that's telling me that, uh, I don't know, maybe enterprise uh, companies or maybe companies in general are like looking into the project and they're uh, they're buying in and they're starting to use the actual project, maybe. Um, I don't know. We're going to check out their website now and see if we can learn a little bit more from their project. So uh, I love projects like this. If you guys don't know me and this is your first video that you've seen of me, I love projects that are built for end users. So this kind of project is awesome. Um, you know, anything, anything that people can actually use right now and they're, you know, projects that aren't built just for developers, they're built for other people to use as well. So Projects like this are awesome. All right, so the distributed data center, enterprise grade cloud storage. All right, um, imagine a business class cloud. Uh, imagine a business class cloud for unstructured object storage on a sharing economy where anyone may provide storage capacity. These contractors create a distributed data center while earning passive income. Server level hardware is not required. SC Prime uses everyday computing assets, yet the result is higher data security, durability, and performance at lower cost than traditional cloud services. That's pretty nice. Because, uh, yeah, cloud services by, like, you know, centralized cloud services like, uh, oh, gosh, who, who am I thinking of right now? I don't know, like, uh, oh, man, um, you know, like even, even Google Drive, you know, the big ones like Google Drive and Microsoft, uh, Microsoft OneDrive. That stuff gets expensive. It really does. It, it it really really does. You're at that point. You're pretty much paying for the name, and that's it. You're not really paying for what you're using. You're paying for the big brand name. 
And, you know, nobody wants to do that forever. So a project like this, you know, could really could really be good for the future, honestly. Uh, a lot of these types of projects can be. So, I mean, I'm, I'm all for projects like this. Um, it'll take a, you know, it's for an actual, um, you know, it, it's for an, it's for actual people in a real industry. So I like this kind of stuff. All right. So some of the features, uh, redundancy and performance uses, uses era, era sure codes, uh, uses era sure codes over a large distributed contractor population for data redundancy localized performance and regulatory compliance and security enforced end-to-end -end, client side encryption ensuring privacy and security and compatibility easy transition from in-house storage or public cloud payment processes no cryptocurrency purchase or custody issues and price lower cost and flat rate pricing using similar payment processes no cryptocurrency purchase or custody issues that's kind of nice and that's pretty much the end of their website. So, um, I mean, it it's it, it can't get any simpler than that. Um, it really can't. Uh, we'll click on some of, some of these buttons though. See what else. See if we can find out some more about the project though. Um, let's see here. The distributed data center, enterprise grade, grade cloud storage, and backup and disaster recover running on a global sharing economy. Distributed data center, smart contracting, provider equipment, secure, redundant, and durable, proof of work, cryptocurrency. Okay, an army of contractors. I like the little picture they got here. It's like a little battle, battle of something. I don't know. <laughs> um, independent nodes provide storage on a global network. Extreme cost and performance benefit over large, environmentally unfriendly data centers. Uh, industrial grade security, performance, and durability without the footprint. And passive income for an army of contractors. No tech expertise required. Eliminates cross-border payment friction with blockchain, smart contracts, digital currency, and a public ledger. All right, smart contracting. Thousands of providers stitched together in a global storage cloud. Customers choose based on proximity, capacity, and performance, and public key cryptography fingerprint nodes. Uh, then pays for successful storage terms. Um, so the one thing I'm noticing about this website is I feel like it's not very... Um, I mean, yeah, they're giving out a lot of information, but it's not, it's not, the way it's being presented to, to us isn't really, it's not the best. It's not really telling us much. Uh, but again, you know, they're not focused on, you know, getting the message across to us. They're, co they're focused on getting a, you know, having a reliable product out there for enterprise, you know, for, for large companies. So I can, uh, I can see where they're coming from on this. Uh, permanent public ledger for formation, revision, and payment transactions. All right, provider equipment. Um, running a provider for passive income should be easy and available to anyone with reasonable internet access. SCP, SCP Corp sells an open source storage appliance for simplicity and ease of use. Plug it in, turn it on, and watch the income accumulate. Units are subsidized with incentive incentives with lower time to reach a return on investment. Units are expected to launch in quarter one of 2021. So like, or now. <laughs> Secure, redundant, relot, durable. Ear, ear sure. oh, we already read this stuff on the last page. Um, uh, this is all stuff we already read. Proof of work. Uh, blockchain is a ledger of transactions. Uh, anyone may invest in specialized equipment to validate and publish transaction records for their service. These miners receive a... Yeah, we don't need to know about that. We Everybody already knows about that. Utility coin under the hood. No purchase, storage, or custody issues with cryptocurrency. Um, customers interact and pay normally with credit cards and purchase orders. All right. Um, storage costs remain constant with automatic price updaters. On the network and security token, so secondary token with equity in the network, uh, taxes all storage transactions. Uh, they, man, they just got a lot of bullet points on this website. They don't really like say. They don't really like. There, there's no like. I don't know. It's hard to explain. That just the way that con that they have the content, the way that they have their content structured on this website is just. It's kind of confusing, honestly. Um, but that's okay. Uh, as I said before, they're really not focused on, you know, they're not focused on that, you know, getting 
information across to us. They're focused on their actual project, which is understandable. Uh, let's see here. Uh, their team. Where are they located? I wish a lot. I wish, I wish these projects would like. I mean, I notice a lot of these projects. They don't really say where they're from or where they originated from or anything like that. And I, I don't really, I don't really agree to that. Um, you know, this guy's name is Kenneth Scott Bell. Um, you know, that's great, but and he's the team lead. But I mean, again, it doesn't say where these people are from or where the project is from or where it originates from. I wish it did, but it doesn't. So, oh well. All right. Uh, what else can we click on and check out here? Project specification, white paper. We kind of we don't need to really go over this unless we're actually using it. Um, mining info. Uh, people might want to know about some mining info. Um, guides, light wallets. So yeah, I mean, we pretty much already went through what it is and what it does. So. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up, I guess, because we don't really need to know about the nitty gritty of the project. Uh, if, you know, if you want me to go through, uh, if you know, sorry, I'm not going through, the, you know, all of these links and stuff like that. I don't like to make videos that are like 45 minutes long, so I want to make the video short. And uh, the overall goal is to just really figure out what the project actually is on a base level and who it's for and what it's for so you know, honestly uh, we, we already read enough to where we can kind of figure out what the project is and who it's for so um that kind of explains why probably why the price has been going up a lot lately um they're probably getting a lot of companies to use their uh storage system so that's probably that's probably where they're growing overall i like the project it seems like a great project and i think it's going to go somewhere in the future uh just like other um, you know, clouds, uh, you know, cloud storage projects that are built on blockchain technology, like Sciacoin, for instance, uh, they're, they're kind of like, they're, they're kind of like that as well. So, uh, but yeah, guys, all right. Now that we've got a pretty decent idea of what, you know, uh, SC prime is all about you guys, uh, take a minute. If you'd like, go ahead and take a minute to subscribe to my channel. So you guys can join me in learning about, you know, more of these cryptocurrency projects with me in my future videos. And with that said, guys, Thanks again for watching, and I really hope to see you guys in the comments section of my future videos. So, thanks again for watching.